Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back. It's, it's faltering. That's all I'm going to say, we're faltering. When it matters the most, we're flapping, we're floundering and we're not doing what we need to do. So let's not keep me big too long as we are back today for the Manchester United Carabao Cup final and the Dortmund second leg. So we will check out how we've been getting on up until this point and then let's crack on. Get these games done, get to the end of the season, and we can jump into Football Manager 2024. Then I'm really, I'm more excited about doing that than I am anything. So let's do it. Let's let's not go around anymore. Keep me big. Let's jump down, make me small, find out how we've been getting on, and crack on with these two games, and hopefully win a cup. That'd be nice. Even if it is a Carabao Cup, it's a cup, right? That's all that matters. So here we are, Manchester United or Man U F C. Man U F C. I don't know what happened. That, that, you know, in the Carabao Cup final, God knows how we got here. This is the luckiest final in the world. But since you last left us again at the Wrexham game, which we managed to win 5 0, convincing, we haven't been getting on too good. It was only a couple of games. It was the Liverpool home game, which we lost 2 1. Luke Prosser got a goal, who has piqued my interest no end. Look at that lad. I want a left winger, a right winger, sorry. Hmm. He's interesting, isn't he? So we lost 2-1 to Liverpool, which allowed them to gain on us. And then we lost the first leg at home to Dortmund. Yusuf Makoko got going 44 minutes. It was an uninspiring, damp squib of a performance, if I'm honest. Not happy at all. So that leads us on today. Not in the best of form. Two games on the bounce defeat. So hopefully we can come and turn that around. By the looks of it, we have no defenders going into this game. So it should be fun. So I'll do the usual biz. Choose us to start in 11. And then we'll see how we get on, yeah? Look at that, though. Three of our four defenders are out. That is <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> Not in front of yourself. So, yeah, I will name us a starting 11. And I'll be right back in a sec. Going in, having no defence whatsoever. It's going to be a tough game. So, we're going to go Elian Andre, Batala, the Bast. Carlos De Beast is going to have to be brought back into the defence due to the fact that we are missing everybody. Cafezas, Asan, a defensive midfielder, Gambella. I'm going to start Coleman on the right because he has a punch on for big games. In fact, I'm going to start him on the left and Kepa Ruiz on the right. Petkovic, Kepa Ruiz and Coleman, Zikovic up front. And let's hope that we can get a win against Manchester United. The bench is lacking due to suspensions. It's suspensions that's keeping most of our players from being able to do absolutely anything. In fact, Pizzer is going to come in at left back for Cafezas. Might end up being a mistake, but only time will tell. Let's pump our fist. Go out there and prove it you're winners. Pump our fists, nothing there. And faith, I'm only going to hit faith today. Faith in you to make a difference. Let's go, lads. Here we go. Batala with a throw, early doors. Martinez to Eric. That's Eric Garcia, right? Or Tep with a header. Doing goalkeeper things. Pizzer tried to find... Former uh, Argyle player Humphreys and Ruiz has stolen in and he just couldn't couldn't quite get it past Carnesi. He's a really good goalkeeper on this. Hassan cuts inside. Gambella Pizer. Oh, lovely strike from Kale Pizer as it just grazed over the crossbar. From the Fargyle. Having the better of the first half, halfway through it, I'm going to drop some encouragement. But I know Manchester United have the ability to turn it on any time. It's a strong midfield they possess. The ability is there just to switch it on. Kingsley Coleman loses out to Bruno Fernandes, but Petkovic, Hassan, knocks out to Zikovic, who just got outnumbered and outmuscled out on the left hand side. Batala smashes it to Ruiz, who keeps it in. Gives it back to Hassan. Gambella. It was a looping header, but ambitious to say the least to be scoring headers from there. Here comes Kepa Ruiz, though. Humphreys does well to get the block and intercept him. Guet. Gitu, Gituda. Gituda. Oh, and Garnacho maybe he was offside, but still probably should have done better. Gertruda. Gertruda. Okay, cool. I don't know how to pronounce his name now. Eric Garcia. We're going to find out what this highlight's going to do. 
Oh no, see. Good pressure from Plymouth Argyle high up, but Manchester United managing to play through it with Sancho. Shows a lovely burst of pace. Humphreys with a ball to Garnacho, who's in space again. Couldn't quite find the cross as Debas clears nets, picks up the loose ball, and Caparese has tripped him. Oh, fuck. It's going to be a penalty, isn't it? It fucking is. It's Bruno Fernandes. Oh, slots it away. Of course he does, because he's a dick. I fucking hate Bruno Fernandes. Fuck off. We all know what penalties look like. We rarely come back. This is this habit we've had in this. Oh, Petkovic steals in. Oh, and Kingsley Coleman just couldn't rise enough. Not known for his head and skills, of course. We've had the better of the game. Go show them what you're all about in the second half. Encourage. Got to try something. Pazer can't keep carrying a 6.2. It was a mistake to start him. We need some life from somewhere. Batal on the right hand side to Ruiz. Gambella. Manages to come away with it, but Guri was chasing well. Caught Gambella napping. Cafezas, Carlos the Beast, the Bast. Oh, that's a piss poor pass. But he did manage to make up for or atone for his error. Zitkovic will keep it in from a not, not the best ball from Coleman. Better from Kafezas and Pekovic is in the middle. I think he's onside. It's whether I think he's onside. It's whether or not Zikovic is offside. It is. It's onside. That would do. Come on, lads, back in it. Pekovic was 15th of the season. Kafezas, Zikovic ran the line well. Yes, clearly. And it was a lovely move from Plymouth Argyle. Come on, lads. You deserve that. Goes through to Andre. A couple of changes in midfield for Plymouth Argyle as Ivan and Lecax come on. And the ball straight away to Kingsley Coleman though. Oh, oh, it looks like it's an own goal. Kingsley Coleman passes it to Eric Garcia who slots it into his own net. That will do. Cafezas is ball down the left, finds Coleman in all sorts of space. The ball across. There was three players to aim for. It was getting to one of them. Um, no. Although Kingsley Coleman won't get an assist for that. So he's not going to improve his performance too much. Kim Fernandez just see himself through the last 20 minutes. Fagoli with a corner. Cleared by Zeno de Bast. Petkovic steals in. Gambella. The bastard, the beast. The dad brothers. Oh, Fagoli does well chasing up again. Manchester United working hard. Dallo. And the cross is good. And God knows where Andre was going. And Guri makes it 2 all. Shit. I am going to stick with the, with the changes because we are struggling energy wise more than anything. Can we drop one more encouragement bomb? Manchester United have come on really strong in the past 10 minutes. Martinez, Ben White. I go, oh no. Andre makes an absolute parlor of a save. He had to. My heart was in my mouth. Fernandez. To Lukak, switches it to Ivan, knocks it inside to Pekovic. who managed to find himself a little bit of space, but Morales Mora does well. Humphreys, Leonardo, wake up Manchester United again. Humphreys, Batala does well to intercept. He looks down the right for Ivan. 
brings it inside nicely. Lukak. Oh, managed to find his way to Ivan, but Zikovic is offside. Well offside, wasn't he? You were miles off. And this will take us into extra time. That's the bench celebrate. Let's give the fans something. I have faith. No, I'm not going to tell them to prove it. We will have a substitute to make. I think it's Zikovic from Barky. It's all a gamble. Everyone's exhausted. Just hope maybe Mbarki can put a bit of pressure on some fresh legs. Or put a bit of pressure on some tired legs with some fresh legs. Sorry, Kepa Ruiz. Eric with a challenge. No, it's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. This is the first game of this two-legger. Oh, it is a penalty. I thought it was outside of the box. I genuinely thought it was outside of the box. And Barky to step up. Oh, and he slotted it. The reason I brought him on was because he's decent at penalties. Yes. 3-2. Right, let's go. Balanced. And we'll see if we can maybe just keep hold of the ball a little bit. And not send so many players forward. They're playing such an extraordinary formation. Look at that formation. I love that. Here we go. Five minutes to go. In extra time. Oh, it's a free kick. Martinez back to Fagoli. It's a block from Pekovic who did well. Keep the pressure on. Nice work from Lukak. Fernandez, who should be at the back defending, really. Ruiz is there. A sound for Pekovic. And Barky finds himself some space. Oh, unlucky lad. Could have killed the game. Oh, no. It's a Manchester United corner late on. And Andre will win it. Keep, keep, take your time, take your time. Ah, that's the last thing I wanted him to do. Just boot it to a Man United player. Lukaku intercepts in midfield though. Fernandez, Cafezas, Ruiz, and Barky. Just couldn't find Pekovic. He was on his way. Cafezas coolly back to Andre. That's what we needed. Ivan, Batala. Yes. Yeah. There it is. We are the holders of the Carabao Cup. That's my first domestic trophy. I think. Is it? Have I won an FA Cup? But anyways, we won the Carabao Cup after an amazing comeback against Manchester United. I am happy with that. Yeah, and the paper mache falls from the skies. As the team celebrate, Kepperies holds the trophy aloft. Who's going to do the obligatory cartwheel? Wait for it. There it is. We'll go to the dressing room. Congratulations, lads. I'm happy with your performances out there. A couple of you let me down, but we can't be too upset about a uh, Carabao Cup final win, can we? No, we can't. So, guys, that will lead us nicely going into this Brewster Dortmund away game. I will be back with you in three days' time. We won it. We won the Carabao Cup. That will do. Good times ahead. See you in a bit. Yo gang, we are back for the Bruce Dortmund away game, but I have just noticed that we do have West Ham in the FA Cup quarterfinal right after this game. So I'm, um, I was going to make the last episode a triple header, but instead I think we'll make this one a triple header and, you know, we'll see how we get on in the FA Cup quarterfinal as well against West Ham. So despite how we get on against Dortmund, not holding out too much hope. I hate to go into a game with that kind of vibe. But we've been doing shit against Dortmund. We will give West Ham a go. And hopefully we can end the episode on a bit brighter note. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Well. Does that sound like a good idea? Triple header. Whoop, 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 whoop. Anyway, let's get on. Pick at starting 11. Do all of the usual biz. And then we will be right back with you. See you guys in a bit.
Oh no. <laughs> right gang, what well, I'm gonna go for this game. Something slightly different, I think. We are gonna go Ellen Andre, Patala, the Bast, Osses, Cafezas, the Beast, Asan in midfield for Gambella. Gambella's just not been playing too well and Asan has been. I'm gonna move Zitkovic to the right hand side. Petkovic, Kepa Ruiz, and Ambarki up front. I'm going to try that as a front four. Ambarki can only get better, and he's going to improve a lot. Just needs the game time. So I am wondering if maybe that might be my strongest front four going forward. I keep chopping and changing over who I'm going to play where and where I'm going to play who, but I think we might go with that. I'm actually going to bring in Jorge Sanchez for Batala. So let's give it a whirl and hope we, we, we... We owe, go and go, go, go and get them some. Go and get them some. We owe Dortmund some, some two results, in fact. We played them twice, conceded five goals against them. Four goals against them, sorry. I don't want to concede no more. I just want us to score, please. The bastard, Carlos the Beast. This ball to Hassan was weak. Likewise in midfield from Dortmund, a bit sloppy, but Petkovic. Oh, and Ambarki. Is he onside? He is. And within three minutes, he's justified his selection. As he managed to break the line, Kepa Ruiz flicks it over, Petkovic. And Ambarki with a lovely finish. And that gets us right back in this. Instantly. Ten minutes gone. Let's drop some encouragement. And I believe we can we can take it to another level. We just haven't managed to show that yet against Dortmund. Zeno de Bastos says. It's a silly ball. Just keep it simple, man. What you? Dortmund will come. Hassan does well to intercept. Ruiz has gone down the left. Oh, it's unlucky. Carlos de Bisca phases. Ruiz is offside. He's offside. There was a defender in the box, but I think he moved way too early. Yeah, he did. Miles. Barky with the free kick randomly, but Kepa with the header. Why would Mbarki be taking my free kicks, man? Surely I've got a better free kick taker than 10. Zeno de Bast for Hassan. Cafezas for the Beast. Find Sanchez. Oh, Sanchez, man. Hassan, Kepa Ruiz brings it back inside, finds Petkovic. Oh, oh, I don't think it's an offside there. It looked pretty onside to me. Oh, it could be Mbarki they're looking at. Oh, he did stray. I don't think it's Petkovic who strays offside. No, it's Mbarki. Petkovic is on. So unlucky. Oh, Zikovic is now. Two super early changes, which I really didn't want to make. Come on, though, lads. I need something from Kepa Ruiz as well. Cafes has done much apart from pick up a booking. Or says Hassan. Ivan Gambella. Oh, oh, that that looks like a trip to me. That looks like a trip to the penalty spot. Come on. Penalty awarded. Come on. And Embarky steps up. And he scores just. Keeper almost got there. And Embarky gets his second of the game. We all know what penalties look like. But the keeper got a hand to it. It was really close. Um, 
I am going to swap. No, I'm going to do it this way in a minute. Capri's really isn't helping anyone on the left hand side. Oh man, that's the wrong time to do that. As Tete skips in and they're right back in it. That was the wrong time to bring up that substitution. That was going to happen anyway. Sanchez clearance was decent and Baki couldn't win the header. Tete into Makuku damages us again. The fox in the box, isn't he? I think that's the way it's going to have to be. We're going to bring on Coleman for Capriz, Pizer for Cafezas, Batella for Sanchez. And that will use all our subs. That's because the be this is going to be another game where we might end up. Let's drop some encouragement. I don't want to go into extra time. If I do, a sand will be coming off. Dortmund are playing well, according to the commentary bar down below. So we, some momentum switches, Dortmund celebrate the... I know we are underdogs, but let's give, I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Right, a sand. Put it cack. Oh no, and Barky's picked up a knock. Shit, balls, Magoo. Not what we needed. And Pep and Bear. Pepkovic just picked up a knock as well at the, in the same time. Hassan will get there fairly and come away with it but lose it Nikhil manages to skip by three cool as that will bring the first half of extra time to a close another game of extra time here for Plymouth Argyle it's two in a week thankfully win it we did win it but it wasn't the cleanest win Oh no, it's onside. I think it's onside. That's fucking onside. Fuck off. It is onside. It's hell of a cross. And Makoku again. I want to buy him just to get him out of Dortmund. He's been the bane of us. What a ball. What a finish. No. No, wrong thing. It's going to waste more time. Ah, uh, what do I do here? Ivan through the middle, pause this shit. Coleman. Keep going better there, keep a sand there, keep the beast there. Oh, we haven't got anything left. Lost it in extra time. Damn it, damn it. Fuck you, Dortmund. I fucking hate Dortmund. I'm going to come back and smash you next season if I play you. We might, not, we might not end up playing them. So, anyway, we will be back for the FA Cup quarter final against West Ham. So, I won't keep you around too much because that's two games of extra time. So, this is going to be a long ass episode. So, I look forward to seeing you guys in a bit. So, gang, back we are for the West Ham game. Not going to be too sad about it because we're still Carabao Cup winners, you know? That's still a decent result, wasn't it? We still managed to win the Carabao Cup final. So, you know, it's a bit sad that we've not managed to get any further in the Champions League because that would have been lovely to go on and get a really good Champions League run, challenge for it, build the club's rep, manage to keep a few players here a bit longer. That would have been, you know, lovely, so to speak. But, you know, it's not to be, but we're Carabao Cup winners which is in itself good. We've had our youth intake, but it was absolutely piss poor. So I'm not really going to go into it. No one's really above three star. There you go. Can improve a lot. Three star. 
could improve a lot for his star. So yeah, a bit disappointing overall, but we will sort out, get signing some youth players and see who's about. And obviously there's youth in the takes, so we'll get scouting and find out who we can get. I'm going to try and build loads of English players. English players are the players that I want to try and grab in and get signing. But anyway, let's crack on with this game against West Ham as we take on West Ham in the FA Cup quarter final. Ooh, and it looks like Man City have got through against Leicester. So that's a shame. I'm not wishing badness on anyone, but, you know, it would just be uh, nicer to have Leicester than Man City in the next round if possible. <laughs> no, no disrespect to Leicester, but I'll choose to start in 11 and I'll be right back with us. I'll see you in a bit. So due to injuries, we are starting a slightly weakened side going into this game. And then Andre, Jorge Sanchez, Debast, Osses, Pizer, Asan, Gambella, Ortet, Petkovic, Kepa Ruiz, and Ivan up front. I need to see some more from Kepa Ruiz. He's not been doing much lately, but Ivan's going to take the scoring run, um, the attacking role, due to the fact of injuries to Umbarki and Zitkovic, as you can see down there. Zitkovic is still going to make the bench. Carlos De Beast is playing a 666, so he's going to get a rest for this FA Cup game. I need to see more from him in midfield than a 666, that's for sure. So, worthy display. I want to see it from you. I want to see us get back to winning ways. That's the United States bosses in the stands. I've not got you at any USA players, I don't think. Jones. Timothy. Turam. Switches it wide to Bowie. And Pakata. Uh, Pakata. Oh. Pazair fell to the floor too easily. 1-0 to West Ham inside of 10 minutes. Fucking come on, fire up. Pakata, too easy. Pazair went to ground too easily. And Turan with a simple finish. As West Ham come out of the blocks here at Gary Neville Arena. Plymouth looks slow. Gambella. Ivan. Oh, It looked like it was a fair challenge. It looked like the only challenge, the only way he could win the ball was that way, and he did it. Oh, it's been given. Lucky. Hassan's going to step up for the penalty, though. This I don't know about. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, gets his third goal of the season. Gets us back into this game. Slotted away by Hassan Kudrago. That's why we call him Hassan. Richards. Salazar straight to Turam. He skips past Jorge Sanchez like he wasn't even there. For fucking M. Raider gets the rebound. Come on, lads. Ah, I need to be doing that. Salazar again, but Ortet intercepts. Passes down the line to Ivan. Who runs into space, but is going to have to bring it back. Ortet is there to back him up. Hassan. Kepa Ruiz. From the left hand side, it's a lovely challenge this time. As Pekata gets rid of it to assess, he will bring it forward. Gambella, Pekovic. Oh, Raya makes a great save. Ruiz with the corner. Couldn't quite find anybody with it. From Fargo again, Pizir. Knocks it back. I think he's going to go out on loan next season. Ivan Petkovic. Back to Ivan. And it's a great block. But he really should have done better. Capri's with the corner. He will win it and manage to keep it. There's another bad but This is fucking dog shit, lads.
You don't even look like a team that wants to be out right, so they're both coming off. I oh, know they're not, because I haven't got enough replacements. Shit. Not having those guys are 6.4s, I'm not having it. I can see Conan with a corner. I'm demanding more. I says Campbell at Hassan. I says to the Bast. Space out a bit, lads. Campbell's lovely ta- Oh, why did Ivan stop? Why the fuck did Ivan stop? The clearance is good. The lap will win the header. Bowie, Richards, Lopez, Raider, the lap to Ram. Yegorov does well to stop him. He was, I don't know if he did well. Pekovic. Oh, it's a post. How many times Pekovic going to have half chances this season that he maybe should score? Loads. He tries to run him behind again. Puts the pressure on and wins it. Well done. Oh, but Ruiz fluffs it on the right-hand side. And West Ham will be able to break Jones. Oh, Cafes' tackle is shit. And Pakata. Let's give that a whirl. See if Kepa Ruiz up front can do anything. Loads of creativeness behind him. Demand more. Bast out to Cafesus. Coleman. Inside to Lukak. Kepperich picks it up. Hassan. Out of pot, but it was ambitious and wide. Corner. As Kingsley Coleman will take it. The substitute walking around the pitch. Oh, says it's a post. Would you believe it? Not what we needed, but it's double the shots. Double the fucking shots. Double the fucking shots. Oh, and then Andre has to just hit one over. Piss poor again. We flounder. All right, the Carabao Cup final. We managed to get a win, but we flounder in the big games like this. Absolutely shit balls. Fucking shit. <laughs> and that will absolutely end the episode on a damp squib with our inconsistent as fuck form at the moment. This is disastrous our form at the minute i have no idea when we'll be back for the next game let's have a little look we're out of all the cups now so it's just leagues i will get a load of games done and i think we'll be back for the last three games of the season yeah fuck it i think that's the way to do it let's find out where we are three games gives us a enough nine points this should be a title run in there if we're in the title run we'll find out what's going on with three games to go so we will look forward to seeing you at the sheffield united game i think that's probably the best look at that look at that reds shit one final win okay but the rest is all dog shit so crap end to this season season where i was really expecting to win loads but what you can do that's the way football manager goes isn't it when you think you've got it in the bag it just goes like that nah you're all right mate <laughs> so yeah we are look forward to seeing you for the last three games of the season and then we can move on to football manager 2024 and hopefully things will be a bit more positive and a bit more good so i look forward to seeing you then much love from me peace